G'day, I'm Vamzi. So you finally had the bright idea to set up a smart DNS proxy to get past your restrictions. Good on you, mate. Today we'll see how you can set up a smart DNS proxy for both Windows and Mac. The odds are they own a couple of these devices with both of these operating systems, you spoiled brat. Not an everyday occurrence I grant you, but it's a useful skill to have. A little precursor before we actually get into the nuts and bolts of these things is that you need a smart DNS account, which is free for the first fortnight, and then it's $5 a month as you go. Once you've done that, don't forget to configure two vital settings in a my account step. One is to configure the DNS server IP address. Two is to activate the IP address in our smart DNS proxy system. Smart DNS proxy also does a VPN, but that's for another day. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Open up your browser and go to smartdnsproxy.com to create a free new account if you haven't already. You basically have to enter your email address, name, etc. and no credit cards required. Now in this case, I already have a SmartDNS account, so I'll just log into it. Now we need to set up a SmartDNS server to, and to do that, firstly, you want to go to System Preferences and then find Network. Go ahead and click on Network to get your network settings. Select the network that your Mac is connected to and make sure a wireless connection is connected to it for the airport of all operating systems to work. Click on Advanced to go to the Advanced Settings window for all different tabs. Select the DNS tab. Now you should make sure you remove the existing DNS in your system before you key in the new ones by selecting the existing IPs and clicking on the minus button. Once you're done with that, click on the plus button to add a new DNS proxy IP addresses. Just pause the video and copy the two IP addresses which is nearest to your physical location. Or use the link down below to set up the updated DNS server list of various countries. Use the closest DNS server IP as your primary and another one relatively close as your secondary one. For instance, say if I'm in Australia and I copy two DNS servers from Australia, and if there were only one available, then I'd choose another one nearby in Australia, like New Zealand. Now paste the DNS servers in the network settings of your Mac and then click OK. Once you've done that, go to your Smart DNS Proxy account and refresh the page. If you've done everything right, you'll see a green tag next to your Smart DNS setup. And once it's there, next you need to activate your IP addresses to set up your current IP in our system. Now that's it, now stream your videos without any geo restrictions. Although, remember when your IP changes, which will happen from time to time since most home users have a dynamic IP address, then Smart DNS servers will stop working for you and you'll see a pop up from Smart DNS Proxy on your browser asking you to log in and update your IP address, and then it should work fine again from then on. Another thing you need to know is that let's say if you want to watch Netflix Japan instead of Netflix United States, which is set by default, you should configure these settings by going to the regional summary and clicking on update. Your Mac is a wee bit smarter now with your smart DNS, that's a terrible joke. <laughs> Moving on. We'll see how to set up Windows now. Go to your start menu and get to the control panel to access your network settings. Click the network and internet link and then click on network and sharing center. Next you need to click on the change adapter settings. This shows you your basic network and connections like your ethernet or Wi-Fi. Right click on the interface to which you connect to the internet. Most probably it's going to be your Wi-Fi and then choose properties. A new dialog box will pop up. Here you have to make sure IPv6 protocol is unchecked, in which most case it is. And then double click on IPv4. This will open another dialog box. Now you want to select use the following DNS server addresses and key in primary and secondary DNS IP addresses, which again you'd see on the screen as we speak. Just make sure these DNS server is closest to your physical location to get faster streaming service and then paste them in the preferred and alternative DNS server IPs. Make sure you validate your settings by clicking on OK, if present that is, and do that again for the Wi-Fi properties dialog box. Now that's it, close the window and you might have to restart your computer for it to take effect. Now just like you did on your Mac, go to your smart DNS proxy account and refresh the page. If you've done everything right, you'll see a green tick to the DNS setup. 
Once you've assured that, you've, you can activate your IP address next to set up your current IP in our smart DNS proxy system. And beep 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 beep, you're good to go. So there you go, that's how you set up a smart DNS proxy for Windows and Mac. Are you having trouble setting up your smart DNS proxy for any other devices like iOS or Android? Yell down in the comments below and let us know. So we will be putting out a video on how to set up a smart DNS proxy for iOS and Android. Check that out soon. While we're at it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'm Vamsi from Smart DNS Proxy and thanks for watching. Watch and keep watching these videos as much as you can. That's not a proper sentence.